Thanks for your time, Rob. Um, can you just explain where you are with the injury at present? It's, it's basically um, at the stage where it's a lot of strengthening, uh, strengthening the muscle uh, around about the knee, the calf, the quad, um, try and get that moving and, and try and basically um, wake the muscles up again, basically to, you know, I need a hand here uh, in terms of try and help me out with the, obviously the, the recovery process, you know, um, so that's, that's what says, there's a lot of strength in what is it's slow stuff just now. Yeah. And talk me through the opening day as well and when you sustained the injury, I mean, at what point did you realise it was it was going to be long term? Um, I think we realised when we got in the dressing room and the, and the swelling happened that, you know, something's up here. Um, I, I've got to be honest, I didn't really think there was much wrong um, when I stood up and I was wanting to try and continue, um, which... Sounds a bit crazy um, with the length of the obviously the, the injury I'm going to be out for the time, um, but you know I felt at the time you know because what happens is the knee cap goes out and comes back in and that um, that process is you know the damage gets done and then basically it lets you know uh, and, and the swelling was you know it was quite big and puffy and uh, it was quite obviously difficult to, to try and get my head around that especially the first day of the season and you're just it's just a waiting game then to see how long you're out for. I was going to say, it must have been really frustrating given the uh, the summer move. Yeah, of course it is in terms of when you want to try and settle somewhere. I think you settle a lot better when you're producing on the park in terms of, you know, settle with the fans, you settle with your teammates, the, the staff, the place basically comes comes natural. And especially with the start the lads have, have had, you know, I wanted to try and be part of that. And I, I knew with, with the signings we were making, it was it was going to be a, obviously a, a good year, but you can't think too far ahead. It's been a good start um, and, you know, long may it continue. And how frustrating has it been to kind of watch your teammates from the stands on the match day? It's, you know, it's frustrating um, in terms of trying to, try to play your part um, in that. But it's also been good because uh, you get to see the lads, um, you know, I see the work they do in the training ground. Um, terrific bunch of boys. Um, they work very hard. The staff as well keep on them. So it's good. Um, and, you, and you see it all come into action on a Saturday. So it has been good seeing them um, you know, score a lot of goals, which obviously, as I say, the strikers um, have got in the locker. So it's, it's been good. Um, but the only disappointing part, you only want to be part of it. So uh, that's, the, that's the hard part, really. And despite the injury, do you feel like you've settled into your, your new surroundings at, at your new club? Yeah, of course. Um, I think also the physios will tell you um, that, you know, because I've um, been in there basically um, a lot more than probably been out in the, in, in the, in the training part now. So it's, it's been good. Um, you know, top, top lads, the physios here, um, you know, they're, they're really, really good in terms of they've, they've helped me so far through the, uh, the seven weeks it's, it's, it's been done. And even the lads as well have been, have been good in, in the staff. So, it is, it's, uh, as you say, the only bad point really is, is the injury itself. Uh, the rest of it, it couldn't have went any better, to be honest. It must be good to have a good support network around you. Yeah, oh, oh, it's been it's been terrific. The amount of um, get well um, wishes and, and what you see me back out there um, for for loads of fans, um, especially on Twitter and stuff, and, and especially obviously the whole fans have been terrific and wishing us all the best. And and, and that's that's what you want to see, you know. Um, this is a club I've, I've signed for, I've committed it to, so you want to try and give everything you've got, basically. Um, and that is going to start, obviously, the, the first thing, uh, which is hard for myself, is going to be the recovery. Um, basically, you need to put your hard work in to try and get back out there and show them what you can do. And that's it. What's the plans for you now going forward for the remainder of the season? Are you kind of uh, hoping at least to kind of get out on the training pitch and... Uh, yeah. And, yeah, and, and get some ball work going? Yeah, that will be at a certain stage, but as I say, it's very slow. It's a slow process. Um, everything will be determined with the, the surgeon and basically the physios. Um, they're in charge. Um, for myself, it's got to do everything to the best of your ability. Um, the rehab, um, is you don't realise how serious it is because it determines what way you actually come back. Um, so that will be the, uh, the process now. And what do you do on a personal level to kind of tick yourself over away from you know the football side of things? Um, I think it's uh, you just try and switch off basically. Um, I, I've says that 
um, I don't want to try and watch games, but that's all I've done is basically is watch football. Um, but it's because it's what you know, it's what you're, you're used to. Um, but just try and spend as much time with the family um, and the kids as possible and try and switch off from it. Because um, when, you, when you get deep thinking about it, it's, it's quite difficult because you realise that it's going to be a while before you're playing. But um, as I say, when um, time's the healer, basically. Time is all it is uh, that's, the, that's the recipe for um, you to come back. And, and that, that sort of thing. There's no, nothing people can say, special words or anything like that, that, that helps. Um, but as I say, the support has is, is, is been good and as I say, it's up to myself to, to try and come back now. Fantastic. And finally, what do you think the club can achieve this season, given its solid start to the season, some decent results, a few draws in there as well? Yeah, I think um, we've been very, very close to having a spectacular start to the season. I think in, in terms of the manager uh, conceding goals, I think he'll be pulling his head out. He'll be, he'll be gutted. Um, because he obviously the defender and, and the player he was, he's still, you know, he's, and, and especially last season they weren't really known for that. So the lads, um, the lads don't want to concede goals. Um, they want to try and win 2 0 every week, um, basically. So, you know, they, they steadied the ship, got back to um, basics, and, and, and that's exactly what they've done on Saturday and showed, as I say, what, what kind of good side we are. Um, and it was, it was terrific, you know, um, to see them, you know, get the three points and, and keep the clean sheet. Um, which everybody was wanting uh, and you know, going to an international break um, with that good victory and approach it um, hard when they come back. Particularly given we've got the two games against Arsenal and Liverpool as well, probably important to get Yeah, of course. Games. Listen, uh, we don't fear anybody and that's, that, that's the mood and that's the, the, the whole feedback for the been uh, around the boys. Um, you know, we can mix it with the best now. Um, you see us scoring two goals against Man City, obviously conceding Four is never good, but you know we can score goals against these big sides, and and we can keep clean sheets as well, which will obviously be proved on Saturday. So when you join them two together, um, obviously we're a force to be reckoned with.